What's up, my soul fam, my favorite people? Yeah, you, yeah, you, my shining stars. I hope that you're shining bright, not letting anybody dim that light. That light, the one of purpose and destiny that's in you. That light that all people, places, and things is attracted to you because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, and that's shining that light. Don't ever forget. I won't let I won't ever let you forget that light. <laughs> my name is Trinity and welcome to my channel all about the healing. Mwah, mwah, mwah. But my ride and dies, you know what? That's been working with me and rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Mwah, mwah, mwah. My new subscribers. I'm honored. Welcome to the family right? Mwah, mwah, mwah. Energy exchange right back at ya, right? 10, 20, 100 fold right back at you. What you sow on this channel, you shall reap, all right? On the flip side, for those of you that's hating, trying to send confusion, negativity, evil, I, hoodoo, voodoo, centuria, just know, stop, block, re return right back to you. Um, I deem and I pray for you and just let you know that I'm standing high, vibing high, won't stop, can't stop, ain't gonna stop. You ain't stopping no show. It is so, so be it and I shay. All right, so we are honoring the sign of Libra. Bam! <laughs> there it is, Libra. All right, so. Libra. I didn't ask no question. I just, I'm going to read the card and what it, read these cards and whatever spirit deemed necessary to come out, that's what's, that's going to be your message. This is a bonus read for you, Libra, for all the views, all you have one, you are, um, Taurus is the highest view, but you're the second in the running. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking the lights. Thank you for rocking with your girl. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for all the love. And so, because you love me, I'm loving you back by giving you an extra read. And here it is. Like I said, just going to read the cards, all right? But first, right off the bat, hold on. Hold on one second. All right, so here we go. So your overall energy, uh, do I show you the cards and then read what I do here? No. All right. So your overall energy is the 28. Now, um, don't really know, really remember the name, the, the, um, actual name of this particular card but like I said I'm going to read the energy and read it and the overall energy um is for this particular reading is love all right but spirit wants me to remind you for 2022 open portals are it are upon you you are deserving to, you are deserving and you are going to um, be provided open portals this year, open doors of success, open doors to of abundance, open doors of love, open doors of um, wisdom, open doors of spirituality. And I want to add on here, open doors to um, positive change positive health all your chakras balanced you're balanced and able to move and maneuver in with whichever way the spirit deems necessary whichever way you've been praying for whichever way that's going to bring you the brightest brightest um or the most positive transforming of a new year new things new you new new um just the new, new, you know, I call it the new, new, just the new, new, the new, new in all aspects. Cause if you've seen the last reading, 
I spoke on uh, 2022 is for every aspect of your life, not just love, not just material things, but spirit had this card to come out to remind you of that. It's not just love. We're speaking about love today because the overall energy is this card and this card is about love. But I have to reiterate that you are ha you have open opportunities, open um, possibilities in every aspect of your life. Go get it. No doubting, no woulda, coulda, shoulda, no... Um, I don't know, um, I don't, you know, I, 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 no, it is yes, 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 let's go get it, how, how I need to move, what do I need to do to go get it, that's what this is about, all right, so getting back, um, when this came out, hold on again, I'm just, this doggone heater is too hot, hold on, Okay, so what I'm saying, okay, so love. This is about love, but the thing about it is that when I was um, meditating over these cards, I told Spirit I don't want to speak on any past love. Any past love, that, that energy, I don't even, I, we don't want to acknowledge it. But if it comes out, I have to honor it. I have to honor it, but I don't have to put pour the whole reading into that. Right? So here we go. Um what I the energy that I get off of this card is this. I want you to see it. Number number 28 is 10. Tens is an ending, something endings, it's something ended so something can begin, something new, new beginnings. You have, in the middle of this, you have the heart, one heart. And this is um, uh, the ace in the uh, playing card. It's an ace. It's an ace by itself, right? So the ace by itself is the ace, is, is, the, um, is the new beginning. Love, right? Is a new beginning in love, right? So... Let me read like this. This, this, okay, this is masculine energy, right? Masculine could be female or male. Masculine energy that is surrendering, okay? This person have um, already went through an ending, a terrible ending. This person, um made up their mind that they're not going to go through something like that again. This could have happened years ago. This could have happened recently. It, it's I'm not getting the energy of when. I'm getting the energy of they learned a lesson. They learned a valuable lesson. They learned who they want to be, who they want to uh, represent, uh, who, do, who they want to be in this lifetime, and they know who they want in their life in this lifetime. They don't want to go through any more uh, traumas, no more playing games, mind games, faking the funk. Uh, they know what kind of person they want and they know what type of person they want to be to that person. Um, this person knows their value. This person knows their worth. This person um, is very powerful. It's a powerful person because it takes a pow powerful person to be in this position, the position of surrender. This person is willing to surrender themselves to have that the one, to have that one, that person that is their person, the person that they can pour love, love into, the person that they can love and 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 be free and trust that love that potential of love they can give themselves they don't have to play around and play games and you know they are able to see this person is has learned a valuable lesson where they came from and so it's like that 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 um 
that's saying that the last person went through hell and sharpened this person and groomed this person to be the perfect person for you. That's the energy off of this card. This person is surrendering. Surrendering to the divine for love. Um, a new beginning. This person is focused. Focused only on one person. In the past, this person was a player. Right? Playing, playing games, playing the funk. Or this person was involved with someone who was playing them. Right? This person was a old is an old soul. Evolved wisdom, knowledge, uh, spirituality. Knows a lot. This person knows a lot. But somebody was either played or somebody was a player. But again, this person learned a valuable lesson. Either even if they was the player or they had or the one that got played. They learned a valuable lesson. And they are not. They learned that they are a queen. Never to let anybody knock them off their throne. This person is on the throne. This person is very, very, very powerful. They know who they are. They're standing in their power, in their truth and authenticity. So this is somebody that when they come into your life, it's going to be like a tower. Because they're going to be very powerful. Not a bad tower, a good tower. A tower, when somebody come into your life, they're very powerful. They know, I mean, it, they, they, they disrupt and change everything. They change the whole dynamics of your life. That's how powerful they are. But it's good. It's good. It's what you need. It'll be a change that, uh, that you need in your life. It will open up uh, all kinds of doors and different perspectives and different things in your life it, it this person will come in and change things that have been dormant and uh, old outdated belief systems this person will change your life and is going to change your life um drastically it's going to take some of you when this person comes in it's going to take some of you time to adjust this to adjust to this person and the changes that they're going to make in your life. But that adjustment is going to be good. And spirit is going to help you every step of the way and send all kind of angels, ministering angels. Um, that's going to give you those downloads, give you the support that you need so you can adjust. And you and this person can have a good transition. It's going to be good, guys. Good, guys. Um, this person is going to have a beautiful inner energetic aura. Um, their energy is going to be uh, out of this world. You're going to be very attracted to this person. This person is going to be very attracted to you. You're going to have chemistry. But again, all of this chemistry, all of this stuff that's going to be happening, it's going to happen fast. It's going to be deep, deep attraction, deep um, powerful change, and deep, deep chemistry and deep um, emotions and feelings and all of these different things happening. It's just gonna be, a, it's gonna take you to a tower. You just need to know that. All right, so like I said, spiritualist, right? This person um, could be very well a spiritualist, right? So that's why you got tarot reader. This person could be a tarot reader. This person could be an oracle. Um, this person could be a Reiki, um, um, a Reiki healer, um, some type of healer. This person could be an empath, any type of spirituality, right? It could have started out with tarot. This person could read tarot, um, but that may, that they may not be a tarot reader on YouTube or anything like that. They might just read tarot for themselves or they just know about tarot, right? But they uh, are indeed a spiritualist in some type of uh, shape, form, or fashion. Um, like I said, a very, a very, wis a very open, um, very deep wisdom, hidden knowledge. Um, an old soul, an old soul, and this old soul is going to change your life. Your life. You you look back once. You know, look back on this. 
and you will look and see how your life had changed when this have changed when this person comes in. Some of you is going to um, trigger you as well, even though it's a uh, I told you it's going to be a good um, tower. Some of you are going to have a trigger, and it's going to be a tower moment trigger wise because this person is going to remind you of um a past love a past lover that did not treat you kindly did not that disrespected you is going to be a trigger but this particular person is not that person you that person prepared you for times such as this for this person to come in this person is that old person prepared you for you to be able to accept and be able to have this moment with this person. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able, you wouldn't be strong enough. And you wouldn't be able to accept this love, right? Um, some of you are having a little regret because regret is here. Um, and what I'm thinking about is re uh, regret. Um, so like I was saying, um, some type of regret. Now, I don't know if it's you that's regretting some things. You looking back and you, you in a, a, a spirit of regret. If it is, let that go. Feel it, release it, and let it go. If this is not you, then this means that this person, what I'm getting off of this regret, um, this person will be focused on you but right now this person is uh may have been may be looking back at and regretting that they were how they treated someone in the past or how somebody disrespected and treated them they have some type of regret about it how they allow somebody to treat them in uh such a matter this could be you because we uh and i also get that maybe somebody is regretting that they didn't finish college, they didn't go to college, or um, something dealing with a college degree. You didn't finish it, um, um, and you're regretting that you didn't finish it. Maybe you didn't have that many um, hours to finish, and you never did. If that's the case, just go back. It's never too late to finish college. You can finish college in, when you're old and gray, like me. I could go back to school right now if I want to. It's no big deal. If it's something that you want to do, do it. Do whatever is required is going to make you happy, make you fulfilled. Nobody said, nobody got any anything written down to say you can't do this. You It's too late. You can't do that. It's too late. It's never too late. Never too late. If you want to get something done, get it done. You want to open up that business, open up that business. You don't have to have a college degree to open up a business. Just take you a crash course and there it is. Go online, take a crash course, really, really get in there and learn it, and you can do it. So that's a little sidebar. This this college degree came out, something dealing with a college degree. This particular person um, could have a college degree, have a lot of college degree. Have, that's where a lot of the wisdom wisdom comes from as well. It's very, this person is very is a scholar, is very intellectual, very wise. Now. Old soul means past life wisdom. Um, this person could be high up in the spiritual realm, spiritual realm wisdom. This person is knowledgeable, book wise, spiritual 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 wise. This person got it going on. Okay, um, very intellectual. Now we got that going. All right. So what we got left? <laughs> All right, so we got um, this person is celibate. This person is celibate. This man have made, learned his lesson, and part of it is to withstand from sex until he meet his one. And what this says is, can't get you off my mind. You, you make me want to. Um, got to release this sexually frustrated so this person could be sexually frustrated because they used to having sex but they made a commitment to themselves and to you 
even though they don't know you or may not, may not have met you or even if you have met this person, this person is waiting and it's going to wait patiently until you guys can come together sexually, all right? All right, so this person is going to love you. Let me be real, okay? Let me be real with you. This person is going to really, really love you and fall in love with you very, very quickly because this person, like I said, knows who they want. When they meet you, it's going to be something. It's going to be the way you carry yourself, what you, how do you, how you speak, and the words you speak, the power behind your words. It's going to be your aura. It's going to be your energy. You're going to make this person feel good instantly. You're going to make this person feel uh, feel like they have never felt before. It's going to be something new. It's going to be something different. It's going to be something unique about you that is going to make this person fall in love with you instantly, okay? And like I'm saying, this is new love. This is somebody, and if it's if it's, it's somebody you just met, somebody you're dating, you don't realize yet how this person is going to change your life and who this person actually is to you. You don't, you, you, you don't know. You just met them, right? But you do have you but you have noticed that the chemistry between you, you have noticed some things, but you just not awakened to what actually is happening um between you and them. Okay. Now, some of you have not met this person, but when you meet them, boom, when you meet them, boom, it's going to be really, really, really fast. You you're gonna know. You're going to know because it's going to be a deep attraction, deep chemistry. It's going to be powerful, powerful energy between you and them. This person is going to see you as the one. You will be the one to them. This person going to know who you are instantly. But they're going to try to, you know, pace themselves. Um, they're going to know right off that they want to marry you. They're going to know right off that they want to marry you. They're going to know right off that they want to go shopping for rings. They're probably going to go shopping for rings, put it on layaway. So by the time it's time to ask you, it's already paid off. They can go ahead on and ask you. The ring is there. They're ready. They gonna be, it's, going to go, it's going to happen like that. It's going to be fast. Um, Y'all meet each other within a year. You're going to be engaged because this person is going to be very serious minded because they really have learned a valuable lesson. They've learned through experiences in other relationships what they don't want to endure, what they don't want to go through again, how they want to treat somebody with dignity and respect because they want that vice versa. They want to be treated well and they are ready to treat somebody else the way they deserve to be treated. They have learned and they are ready. And this is why spirit is allowing this person to come in and come in and dwell with you because the spirit know that this person is ready wow okay so let me get another card all right i'm gonna go ahead and give y'all let's see what that what the angels and what the what the angels and what they got to say what what did the angels have to say what do the ancestors have to say about this love all right all right let's see what they got to say angels guardians of the four winds mother of the earth father in the sky angels ancestors sacred ones i call on you and welcome you here now what do you got to say about this love from this divine masculine male or female male or female all right <laughs> didn't I say that it's an intellectual person this person has a lot of knowledge a lot of knowledge a lot so this person is going to come in and rock your world it is, it's, it's, it, they're going to support you in ways that other people never have supported you you know like um, if it's something that you don't really know or something that you just 
you know, you uh, of two minds about, this person is going to support you, give you all the knowledge that you're able to make a sound decision on your own, but give you that background so you can make that decision. This is that type of person. Book knowledge, like I said, see how that book is there? Very knowledgeable, this person, male or female. So this is feminine energy. So you got a masculine energy and you got a feminine energy here. So you got two people on the table, very knowledgeable. So they talking about whoever you are, fit it in where it get in. But both of you are just as knowledgeable. Both of you are spiritual. Both of the both of you have something bringing to the table, but both of you have different aspects of wisdom have two different aspects of wisdom you have two different uh, aspects of intellect where one is 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 more uh intellectual and, and vast knowledge in this somebody the other one is vast knowledge in something else so that's good go ahead y'all go ahead now <laughs> yeah this is nice well we talking about Libra, right? But Libra is, is, and we talking about love, right? We talking about Venus, Libra. But Libra still is an air sign, justice, right? So where this probably one is going to be more um, into um, wisdom as far as judgment. Ah, so we got forgiveness. Forgiveness. So somebody needs to forgive. Right? And I didn't I say somebody has some regrets? Somebody has some some regrets. Either this was done to them or they done it to somebody else. Either way, it has some regrets here. And they need to either forgive themselves for allowing somebody to play them, or they need to forgive, or they need to forgive, uh, ask for forgiveness to someone else, or um, uh, send out forgiveness um, in the spiritual realm as far as needing forgiveness or seeking forgiveness from this person that they played. Okay. All right. What else we got? I'm going to end this reading in just a minute. I just didn't feel like I got enough information. This, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to, um, this is new love, though. It's not that old, outdated stuff. That old. Let me see. In the near future. This person is coming in in the near future. For those of you who have not met this person yet, this person is coming in in the near future. They don't want to spoil it. Spirit is not going to spoil it by giving you all these informations when this person is going to come in because that's part of it. When this person comes in, you are not to know it because you are sabotaging. So if they're going to come in. It's going to be unexpected. Um, this person may not look like what you, you know, look like what you are attracted to. But once you get that intellect, know what their mind is, know how their mind work. It's going to be a very, very um, compatible, uh, compatible, very um, intense chemistry, um, very... Um, sexual intellectual the intellectual aspect between these two people is going to ignite a sexual um powerful sexual sexual attraction all right so but it's going to be in the near future let me see let me do one more and then we'll end it <laughs> give you one more because i just don't feel like ah. so let's see one more spirit one more for libra they libra bonus uh-oh, Spirit gave you more than one. Okay. Ooh, no, that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> that's too much. But what Spirit is saying is that some of you are recovering. Some of you still are recovering, and that's why this person haven't came in yet. You're still recovering. You have not fully forgiven um, the individual who have hurt you, who uh, played you, have... Um, done um, caused you trauma, caused you um, really, really um, hardships and struggles and pain. You have not forgiven that person, and so spirit is um, that per your this person I'm speaking of 
won't be allowed to come in. I don't know if you've seen the last Libra reading, but I tapped into how what is blocking you from moving forward. And these things are uh, uh, things that how you feel behind closed doors, not what people see, but what you and spirit know how you feel and what's close, what's blocking you behind closed doors, right? Not who you, who you are on the outside, but who you are on the inside behind closed doors. So you might need to go check that out because that might be something that, um, you need to address. So this person can come in and you can have this, this goodness. Congratulations! I think I'm ending right here. <laughs> You're ready. You are ready. Congratulations. We know that this person is ready because this person is in the position of surrender. Surrender to the, the divine and surrender for uh to love, right? Um, but are you but are you ready? And spirit spoke and said you are. All right, so go check out that other Libra reading and some of you like I said is recovering right so you are still recovering so that's why um, this person has come has uh, has not come in but spirit said once you recover you will be ready you will be ready to move forward with this person and these open doors will be opened these open opportunities and doors will be open to you when you get into position to surrender as well all right libra you got it going on all right all right congratulations okay all right so this has been your bonus read i hope you've gotten something out of it if it's not if you have not met this person claim it believe it call it in this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This person here is ready and willing to surrender to what love means for you and them, right? They don't have no pre, pre, uh, you know, pre uh, expectations. They just they're opening up this themselves to the divine and believing that whatever the divine sent towards their way for love, then they're going to surrender to it because they're going to trust the process, trust the divine that when they see you and fit you where it get in, when they see you, they're going to know it's you. They're going to want you. You both going to be ready and they're going to want to go for it. All right. So congratulations again. And, uh, uh, hit the comments. Let me know how I did. Let me know if you met them. If you haven't met them, some people put in the comments that they have met that person. And I am so happy for you. But if you have met your person, the spirit is saying it's time to move on to those other open portals that you can experience in 2022. All right. So don't just stop at love. Let's get these other portals open. Let's get it. Let's go get it. All right. So hit those comments, thumbs up, thumbs down, just thumbs the channel, just thumbs for the channel, right? Subscribe. Um, go to the description box if you're here for the first time. All of my information is there. The social media is there. Again, guys, just don't join the social media. Go and look at what's there because what's there, I have. Um, even though it may have one other date, it have an older date, it was another year, doesn't matter. All of my information is timeless. Spirit had me do it then at that time because Spirit knew I wasn't going to have, uh, was not going to be able to actually um, do anything right now. So it doesn't matter, guys, what the date is on there. It's timeless. It's whenever you click on it, it is your message. It is from, for you from the divine. So take that message and run with it, all right? It is for you. Don't join and don't go and look and see what's there. It is a lot of stuff there for you. Notification, hit the notification bell so you can always know what actually is, when the, uh, when the readings are coming out, okay? For you. And what else did I have? I said subscribe. I think that's it. I think I said everything. Oh, share, share, share. Put them on your websites, put them on your blogs, put them
put them on your Facebook. Share, 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 guys, because don't just keep it to yourself. Share. That special someone, that's a, a colleague, a friend, anybody, a family member can maybe use this information as well. All right, so that's it. I'm sending you love. I'm sending healing your way, and Trinity is out.